Behind the glass, an assistant leafs through a magazine. He's about 50 years old and has ginger hair and small round glasses. He has sat with his chin in his hands and pays little attention to me. Look, I'm sorry. If you're after new membership, I can't issue any until next week. Actually, I've got a friend's card here. You can use someone else's card if you like. If it's okay by them, it's okay by me. Won't the electronic thumbprint on the card be wrong if I use this card, though? Look, I shouldn't be doing this. But if you use someone else's card in the reader by the doors, I'll sort out the rest. Yeah, thanks. I'll do that. No problem. You can owe me one. Stood in one corner of the room on his own is a man who looks nervous. He swaps his balance from foot to foot and glances around the room furtively. He has a tattoo on his arm and he has long, dark hair. What the hell are you looking at? Um, I just wanted... Look, I'm just waiting here for someone and I don't want to be disturbed. Got it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sat at the bar, facing out across the room, is a man who looks as if he's in deep thought. He drums his fingers on the bar and is looking blankly across the room. His clothes look expensive and he wears a gold ring. As I approach the man sat at the bar, he gives me a stern look. Pardon me? The man continues talking to the person next to him and ignores me. Look, can you help me? The man stops talking, turns round, and bares his teeth. Uh, right. I think I'll be going. Sat at the bar is a man drinking. He wears a pair of jeans and a black shirt. His blonde hair is long and untidy. He's in conversation with the bartender as I approach him. Hey, I'm talking. Why don't you piss off? But... I don't want to have to tell you twice. All right. See ya. The bartender stands behind the bar, lazily smoking a cigarette and speaking in a low voice to the man opposite him. As I approach, he looks at me with suspicion. What can I get you? I've been told I can get some help here. Oh yeah? By who? Um, my friend's name is Lewis. Lewis King. He told me to mention his name. Lewis King, yeah. I've seen him around here a couple of times. What exactly are you looking for? I need a gun. I mean, I, I don't know much about them, but I need one. Well, Mr. Silverman deals with all that. You'll need to see him. Go to his office. The number on the door lock is 5222. How will he know who I am? I'll ring through and tell him you're on your way, and that you know Lewis. The office is down to your right. Make sure you have some money.
bald-headed man sits at the table smoking. The man watches me as I approach, and he doesn't seem too pleased that I've chosen to speak to him. He wears a sleeveless shirt and has arms like tree trunks. What do you want? I need some information. People around here just keep themselves to themselves. It doesn't pay to ask questions. What do you mean? What I mean is, if you keep asking questions... I see. Catch you later. I doubt it. The man lies slumped across the table. Like most of the people here, he's wearing just jeans and a shirt. Honest, the man doesn't make a move as I approach him. Excuse me, can you help? The man mutters something slurred and incom- Hey! Wake up! There's no response. Oh, forget it. In front of a door close to the desk is a man dressed entirely in black, with black shades, black shoes, and with a black expression on his face. He looks as if he would very much like to rip my head off. Silverman's security guard stares at me with a, I don't think he wants to talk to me. The pool hall owner sits behind his desk and puffs on a large cigar. He wears an off-white shirt and blue waistcoat. He drums his fingers on the desk in an irritated manner. He looks as if he doesn't trust me. Good evening. My name is Silverman. What's yours? Oh, my name is Ryan and I need your help. Louis King is a friend of mine and he said you would have what I want. Your friend Louis was right. I can usually help people out, providing they have enough money. Oh yes, I have money. I just hope I have enough. And you're after some kind of handgun, yes? Yeah, something that's easy to use. I've never used a gun before, but I need to now. I need to kill him. Please, Ryan, don't tell me any more than I need to know. I can supply you with a gun. What you do with it is up to you. How much will it cost? For 200, I can give you an SI-140. It's a fully automatic pulse laser weapon with a full pack of ammunition and computerized sights. Uh, that sounds fine, I guess. A child could use it. The gun virtually aims and fires for you. Will this weapon be acceptable? It'll be fine, thanks. If you could just put your cash card through the scanner on the desk, I'll deduct the money. Okay, and thanks for your help, Mr. Silverman. That's all right. Give Lewis my regards when you see him.